So I just want to say at the start of this, I did make an Iron Man um, on RuneScape 3. Never had an Iron Man, so this is going to be a learning experience for everyone. Um, the start of this is just going to be me dungeoning. It's about an hour of dunge. Only got to 30. It takes a long time. Over an hour of dunge. Um, but what you're going to be seeing is um, at the start, you know, less clips. Uh, and you're going to see a little bit more of a cut commentary style. Not a lot of editing has gone into into cutting up the clips. It's more so pauses and things like that. Um, not to say that no effort's gone into it. Uh, obviously, I sort of rewatch it and, and tamper with things to make sure that it, it looks alright to watch. There's going to be a little bit of lag at first. Um, I don't know why. I can't really explain why, but it does smooth out after a while. I don't know why the frame rate was so bad on the video, but I do still want to keep the recording files. So, besides that, um, yeah, at the start, like I said, um, there wasn't too many clips for me to record, but I think I'm at the point now where um, there's a lot for me to do and a lot for me to record, and I like talking, so uh, I think I'll, I think I'll do that. Anyway, yep, yeah, enjoy the series. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you. <sighs> okay, I may have gone and made an Iron Man. So I thought I would. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the fighter boots. Um, I thought I'd do the stronghold of security. Do these actually have stats? They have a bit of armor and they're melee types. So they <laughs> probably help a little bit. I actually don't have the. I want to kill myself. <sighs> so we're gonna get some thread together because one of the best money makers at a low level on uh, on an Iron Man, especially on RS3, is. I believe it's hard leather boots, I think. So we're going to do a bit of that. And I just sort of want some shit to put on. So we're going to pick up the uh, the buckets um, and pots that I need for uh, the Avas Accumulator quest. We'll also pick up a couple of tools just in case. I, I, I like haven't looked at my, uh, my tool belt. I don't know what the fuck it comes with. This must be the most useless fucking item in the entire game. You've got this. Why do you need that or that? Useless items. Pisses me off. Okay, so we're going to start magic by going to Berthorpe and killing some of the cows there, getting their leather and then tanning it. Um, obviously that means we're not going to have anything in the inventory. I think we'll do some combat. Um, not just uh, not just mage. I think we might do a little bit of melee as well. We're going to collect quite a few cow hide though, so I'll, uh, I'll see you after that. Okay, so uh, I've only done like three inventories of that, but it just it gets really monot monotonous because you don't hit anything against them. Uh, they only have 25 um, HP, so you just one hit them, and it's next to no XP, which is why I pulled out the sword because the average speed on the uh, on the staff was getting on my nerves. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go and do waterfall quest now. So we need a rope, so we need to find a fucking mugger. Now there better be one here because every time I was here at low level back in the game there would be one here when I didn't want him here. Hold on. Is that... No. Oh, there's not even one here. Fucking imps everywhere though. It's sort of what I like about Iron Man accounts is that I can just know that I need a certain item and it's like, oh, okay, well now I need to walk for 10 minutes to get it. But uh, luckily, lagging all over the place. Luckily I can just uh, get one from Draenor so it's all good. Okay, that is Waterfall Quest completed. What are the rewards for this? Quest point, XP, diamonds, gold bar, and mithril seeds. Okay. So we get up to 31. Really? We only had the XP for one, or sorry, one or two levels after that? That is asshole. Right, what I do want to do to get some magic up is eventually come back to Fire Giants. Although, and, and like I wanted to get myself to a to a point where I could kill fire giants after doing waterfall, but I don't know if you can see, but they hit you and there's no safe spot, so not really sure what to do here. Everything has a fucking ranged attack on RS3, which is frustrating. But it's all good. We've done that now. Fire Giants are obviously for the later game. Uh, we're going to need a rune skimmy at some point. Um, stop lagging, dude. Give me a second, bro. Oh, no, it's all good. 
Uh, but yeah, that's that quest done. Uh, now what? Give me a second. Blood Pact also done. Nice. I wish the weapons from this could like be upgraded somehow. I think they're fucking... Look at them, they're so fucking cool. They're like typical swords. Uh, the bow's pretty average though, to be honest. The bow's pretty average. It's like It looks like a U-Cunt bow. So I'm just doing a quest. Uh, just the just Cook's Assistant. Just trying to get all the free-to-play ones off. And I swear to fucking God, the one thing that annoys me the most about this fucking game right now is how broken the map hints are. Because I'm telling you, I come onto here, toggle it, turn it on and off, even though it was already off. It goes off, but then if I walk like 20 feet, it will just instantly come back on. It pisses me off. Get all the fucking things off my map. Ding! Just getting my wicked hood shit for the day. We got two more teleports. Uh, so, yeah, that's... I've never used this item before. I never, like, knew how important it was. Um, but, yeah, there is actually some items that we need. We need... Uh, if we have unlocked the Draenor village, we will go. No, we haven't. We're gonna have to go and do that now. Then, um, yeah, fuck. I'm actually off just to buy some, um, and also the lag has like died down quite a lot. Um, I'm actually off to buy some fishing supplies, but I'm not sure how many feathers or bait I'm gonna be able to buy with 1.7k. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to get much at all. It's, I don't know the prices at all. So let's hope we can get something usable. We just need a small net to start fishing, but... Uh, yeah. Well, let's knock this out while we're here. Okay, so what are these prices like? They're fine. We'll get placeholders of fishing rods. We'll pick up the lobster pot and harpoon. I don't know if we're ever going to need one of these, but okay, right. So, it's going to cost you... The price doesn't look like it's moving, so I'm fine with this. And problem is, it's gonna cut. Uh, these are expensive. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna buy 150. Um. Yeah. That's. That's not that bad though. They're fine. Uh. Cause we'll be able to get some money off other things, which will. You know, it's only affecting me now. Only when uh, I've got literally like 2k in the bank. But after making leather boots, then we're going to... Well, sorry, hard leather boots, then that's a, a good little starter cash method. So uh, we'll have something. So for those who do not know, the most efficient way to train fishing on RuneScape 3 um, actually came with the addition of this uh, of this ability bar or this toolbar. Um, so because of raw fish only having a use and an examine, which are the stock options along with drop, it's going to go straight for drop when you drop it in the, uh, in the toolbar here. So as you can see, that's the first option. So click, you know, and it will drop. Now I want to pick them up because I need to cook them, but now you've got, a now you've got a hotkey here. I'm playing on legacy and luckily the update means that you have to press enter in order to chat so you can use hotkeys now on legacy mode. I think it's been that way for a while but not too long ago it was not that way. But anyway if you want to drop real quick, spam one and all of them are on the floor within like two ticks. And uh, yeah I can just pick them up again with one fucking click. But that's like the most efficient way of, uh, of fishing especially now. It's, uh, it's slightly OP. Um, but I, th I think it's a little bit more balanced than people think because you're power fishing, you're not getting any money from it, just XP. So if that's your spiel, um, then you're good. I mean, if you're fishing leaping, leaping trout or leaping salmon for, um, for the sort of big XP and you don't really give a fuck about profit at all, uh, then, you know, it may be OP. But for this, you know, it's, uh, it's cool. It's cool. Also, do you like the uh, is that the money pouch? I'm gonna hide it. Actually, that's embarrassing. So obviously, one of the really important parts of Iron Man is to be able to uh, to be self-sufficient to the point where you can fish and cook your own food for Slayer or for PVM. Um, not something I've really experienced too much before, except for when I was getting um, the 50 mil experience on my main, but. 
it's handy, especially on Iron Man. I mean, like, you haven't really got much option. Um, there's, like, some stores that sell raw fish. Um, but at that point, you need cooking, and you might as well not waste your time um, and fish and then cook sort of simultaneously, even though the XP isn't exactly equal. It's a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's so useful, and uh, fishing will uh, it will speed up after a while. For now, I'm getting 10 XP per shrimp. And it's, uh, it's definitely, definitely slow, but, you know, we'll get better. The main XP will come with trout and salmon. That'll, when I, that'll be when I uh, start getting the, uh, the next tier up of uh, experience.